I've been using this water housing for about a year now with my Sony a7 III. It also works with the Sony a7R III. And in this video, I'm gonna give you some of my thoughts, some of my pros and cons, and some personal problems I've had using this housing, and then whether or not this is the housing for you. Hey, I'm Cameron. Today I'm gonna to talk about why this Seafrogs housing for the Sony a7 III and a7R III might be the perfect housing for you and your budget. Seafrogs, the company that makes these housings, makes tons of housing for lots of different cameras and is known as one of the cheapest options to get into surf or underwater photography or videography. And that's where the biggest pro of these housings comes in, the price. From my experience, these housings are just about half as cheap as anything else you can buy. I've been using Seafrogs for my Sony 6500, and then I bought this housing for my Sony a7 III. And if you don't wanna drop $1,000 or more on a water housing for your camera, I think this housing might be the way to go. Let's go into the pros and cons of this housing, starting with the pros. One of my favorite things about this housing is the leak detection. There's a little silver thing that when it detects water, it'll start beeping and it has saved my camera once before. Another thing I really like about Seaprog's housing is their vacuum seal pump. I haven't seen a lot of other cameras that have been able to do this, and I think it's just an extra layer of security along with the security of the water detection system. Another thing I really like about Seafrogs is that I get full control of everything I could want to control in that camera. Aperture, I can shoot in full manual, video, photo, be able to control every little aspect of the picture that you would ever want to do. Another thing that I really like about this housing is Seafrog's port system. They make tons of different ports for a bunch of different lenses, and they have a big chart on their website about what ports work with what lenses, and it gives you a pretty huge range of lenses that you can use with this housing. There are, however, a few cons with this housing. There's two controls you don't have when using this housing. Number one being the front dial, which controls your shutter maybe. To fix that problem, I've switched in the menu the shutter and aperture controls to both be on the back pinwheels, and I've got and completely used to it now and it hasn't been a problem for me. You also don't get control of the joystick, but I don't use that, to be completely honest with you. One of the bigger cons with this housing is the camera doesn't always fit perfectly. I always have to put it in, wiggle it around, it won't fit smooth, I have to move stuff around, little plastic bits fall out sometimes. You have to make sure it's in there, I close it, it doesn't always fit, I have to take it out, readjust it, put it in, close it, turn it on, test it. But what I usually do, is make sure it's in there, turn it on, test it before I even leave my house. I'll test it, make sure all the buttons are working, play with a couple different dials, make sure everything works. I have showed up to the beach before and it wasn't aligned properly and I couldn't get all the controls that I wanted to. So what I've been doing since then is always testing it at home, making sure all the buttons work before even driving to the beach. However, I think it's well worth the half price discount you get with this housing. Now I'm gonna get into some of my personal problems I've had with this camera. So I've had one, almost two, but only one leak with this housing. This is the side handle I use. You're not supposed to be using it with this camera, but I use it and it's fine, I hope. So this right here is where the pistol grip goes in. If you wanna shoot with the pistol grip and be able to hold it out and take pictures or videos or whatever. This little screw right here plugs into the pistol grip. It comes off. And your pistol grip attaches right here. And the only leak I've ever had is this screw came loose. When using this housing, I always make sure to keep all these things tightened because that specific screw has come loose before. Luckily, the little water detection system started beeping and I was able to get to the beach and get home before the camera got wet or anything got damaged and everything was fine at the end. But make sure every once in a while you check all your screws and make sure everything's in line. One almost problem I had was a little tiny screw came out from the inside, got loosened and, and just fell out when I was taking the camera out and I didn't notice. So one night I was going to film a event, sub in the dark, that involved surfing at night, lights and cameras and judges. Luckily, that night, the waves got pretty bad and no one wanted to surf, so we rescheduled the event. But when I walked back up to my room, I noticed there was a screw missing and this, this zoom dial fell completely out, leaving a giant hole in the housing. If I would have taken it in the water that day, it might not have ended well. Luckily, the event got rescheduled and it wasn't a problem. Further emphasizing the point, make sure all your screws are tight and you have to keep up with the maintenance on this housing, which 
that the more expensive housing might be better. But if you don't want to spend that money, it's to make sure you're keeping up with the maintenance. Personally, I think it's worth saving the five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars you would otherwise need to spend on a more expensive mainstream housing, like an Aquatech housing. I was able to get some amazing shots with this housing, shot some work with a lot of cool people, had fun shooting my friends surfing. It did have a few problems, but in the end, everything worked out fine. None of my cameras were damaged. The housing stayed intact the whole time. And unless surf photography is your full-time job or you have the extra money to spend, I think you're perfectly fine with this housing and saving five, six, seven hundred dollars. If you stuck around this long, thanks for watching. This is actually my first video on a new channel. So if you think this helped you out, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. It would help me out a lot. Thanks for watching.